4.3 in terms. Okay, so now let's discuss what is an interrupt. An interrupt is a signal to the processor to tell it that something needs its attention. And we can divide the interrupts into two types. The first one is called the software interrupts and second one is called the hardware interrupts. Software interrupts caused by a software such as a program is not responding or division by the zero. Okay, a hardware interrupts uh, caused by the hardware such as uh, pressing a key on the keyboard or moving the mouse. So here are the some features of interrupts. Interrupts can be hardware based or software based. Interrupt service routine handles the interrupting event. Interrupts allow computer to multitask. A computer cannot function without interrupts. Interrupts can have different priorities levels. But now let's discuss the software and hardware interrupts. So there are some examples of software interrupts. First one is the division by zero. When you try to divide a number by zero, that's a software interrupt. Two processes attempting to access the same memory location, that's, that's also a software interrupt. Program request for the input, so that's also a software interrupt. Output is required, and the last one is data required from the memory. So these are all examples of a software interrupts. Now let's see the hardware interrupts. So the first hardware interrupt is data input, for example, key pressed on the keyboard or mouse click. Error from a hardware, example, printer out of the paper. Hardware failure, hard drive signals that it has read the data. And the last one is new hardware device connected. Interrupts can be further categorized into two types based on their priority levels. Uh, for example, we have software interrupts and hardware interrupts, and then we can uh, categorize those interrupts into high priority interrupts and low priority interrupts. High priority interrupts demand swift attention, for example, hardware failure, uh, while the low priority interrupts are less urgent, for example, data input. Imagine you're watching a movie and someone knocks on your door. You pause the movie, answer the door, and then return to continue watching. This is like a, like a computer handling an interrupt. It pauses the current task, deals with the new request, and then returns to the original task. How computer handle interrupts? When an interrupt is generated, it is put in a queue according to its priority. When the processor finishes its current fetch decode execute cycle, it checks the interrupt queue. It checks whether there is an interrupt with a higher priority than the current task it is processing. If it is, it stores the current process and fetches the interrupt checks the source of the interrupt and call the relevant interrupt service routine or ISR to handle the interrupt. When finished, the store process is returned to the memory or another high priority interrupt is fetched. So there is a very simplified representation of interrupt handling process. Let's say you are working in MS Word and the CPU is focused on running this program because it is the currently high priority task. After completing each fetch, decode, and execute cycle, CPU checks the interrupt queue to see if there is a high priority interrupt. If there is a high priority interrupt, the CPU will pause MS Word for a moment, handle the interrupt first, and then return to MS Word. However, if the interrupt is less important, like a notification from a background app, it will keep running MS Word without handling that interrupt immediately. This way, CPU can quickly respond to a urgent task while still keeping your high priority programs running smoothly. Okay, so now we are done with the topic. Let's have a quick quiz. So question number one, give examples of hardware interrupts. So the answer is key press or hardware failure. Question number two, what are the two types of interrupts mentioned? So we have two types of interrupt. First one is the software interrupt and second one is called the hardware interrupt. Last question, uh, provide examples of software interrupts. So here is the answer. For example, divide by zero or memory conflict. So that's it, we are done with this topic.